Hello and welcome to UG Hobbying, the very first of my short hobby videos uh, just with certain things that we're going to work on and what we're going to work on today is a wave base and I've got lots of uh, really interesting wave bases I've done for my Eidneth Deepkin army, my sea elves um, and lots of people have asked me about them so I thought I'd do a short video on how to do a wave base. So I, uh, I've got a clear piece of acetate there just to stop basically stuff going all over my table. Um, and then uh, something to create the actual shape of the wave, something uh, that will create the roundness of the wave. And that needs to be something that's non-porous. So it's just a solid bit of plastic. Um, and then I've got my UV resin. I'm using green stuff for UV resin here, but I've since discovered that there's UV resin you can use for jewellery, which you get in huge tubs, which is much more cost effective and does pretty much the same job. So I'm going to put the UV resin on top of this and let it run down a little a little bit and then shine the light on. And then it will be a case of rinse and repeat and keep shining it over. It doesn't matter if it drips down both sides. Um, and you'll see a bit later how useful it is to have that sort of clear um, plastic undercoat underneath to be able to peel it off afterwards. So I'm just going to keep carrying on doing this until I've got a nice solid layer of hardened resin, which is in place to put onto the base. There we are. Now we've got our um, solid base of resin that I'm happy with and I'm just peeling, I'm just rolling that um, round piece of uh, plastic out and I've now got a nice wave shape that's come in the shape of the bit of plastic that we have and I've got a little bit of a, a base there as well that will help me when I stick it onto um, the actual base of the miniature. So uh, that's looking quite good now and I'm ready to try and get that off the surface. And I'll use something sharp and it takes a little bit of uh, jiggery pokery, but once you, it starts to come off, it peels off nice. It'll still be quite, it, it's not fully cured yet, so it's a bit wet and it, it, it is quite sticky. Uh, but what I'll do once I've stuck it onto the base is I'll stick it on the windowsill and it'll clear, it'll it will go clear and it will really um, start to cure properly and it'll be nice and solid then. So I'm going to use a bit of a super glue, stick this to the base and then put it out so it can get a bit of sunshine. Hopefully I'm in the UK, so it doesn't always work that way. But um, then I'll have it stuck onto the base and I can start to think about the rest of what I want to do. We are we um, have our base that's been on the windowsill for a while and all I'm doing now is just going to clip off a little bit of the bits that are sticking out out of the side of the base and you have to be a bit careful here because it, it does sort of ping off in all sorts of directions I think I find bits of these bits of resin all over my room um, so uh, make sure you wear glasses which of course I never do so I'll clip this off and then I'll start looking at painting I've got three colours here. I've got a um, a blue, uh, an ultramarine blue, a blue, um, a turquoise, and a real bright blue green. And I'm going for quite a bright colour scheme here. And this is going to be incredibly unsubtle, fun to do, easy to do, but messy. 
Um, so what you do is you blob a bit of each paint on and then mix it all together. Simple as that. And I do it straight out of the bottle, um, blob a little bit of uh, the blue to start with. And then the other ones, doesn't matter what order you do it is, get a, get a nice mix, then get a brush and swirl it all around. Very, very easy. And I put it over the top of that bottom bit of resin that attaches it to the base. And that um, works fine. It gives a nice bit of variety and height to the bottom part of the model. So the uh, paint has dried and uh, I'm just going to re-establish the rim of the model with a nice bit of black. Now with the black uh, rim sorted I want to get the model onto the base and uh, this is before I do a bit more with water effects because I want it the model to really be incorporated into the wave so what I'm going to do is uh, stick this model on here so uh, try and get a couple of points of contact onto the wave itself which is actually not too difficult um, if you've got some uh, super glue um, sealant that uh, seals it really quickly I've um, forgotten the name of it, but uh, I'm sure you know what I mean. Uh, that's a really advantageous thing to do because it means that you're not sitting there for ages holding it on, hoping for the best that it sticks well. Um, so I'm going to stick the model to um, the wave. And then after that, I can start working on some more of the water effects. Of course, it all doesn't always go according to plan, um, but fortunately, I'm going to get this on there quick enough that it now does stick. It's already looking quite good here, but um, it's too smooth. The wave is too smooth, doesn't really look like a wave. Also, the ground looks like matte paint at the moment. So we're going to use Vallejo water effects to um, create a bit more sort of uh, chaos within the, the water itself and a bit more texture. And this really sells the effect. It makes that base as well underneath the wave really shine up and, and give it um some real vibrancy so it's a case of smothering the whole thing in these water effects these are the water effects that i find yellow the least quickly they all everything yellows to a certain extent but these yellow the least quickly so they're the best for the job that i've found anyway <laughs> Here we are, and that's uh, all that we're going to be doing with this particular miniature. Just looks like a, wh a white blob at the moment, but you'll see in a moment uh, when it um, goes clear. Again, it's a good idea to put it into a sunny environment, but not for too long. You don't want it to start yellowing straight away. 
and that will dry, go clear, go very hard. It's a really solid base for a miniature. It looks fantastic. It's fairly easy to do. And here you can see the finished article. Um, and that's quite a small one, but um, you can use the same principle for virtually any size um, of miniature that I've got lots of different ones. You've got different heights. It's quite good to make your infantry different heights. Um, and uh, you can see I've even done my turtle here with a, a huge one that, that comes all the way over and drips down. And there's my entire army. Um, so you can see I enjoy this. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.